Now, um, the next chapter is continuous time Fourier series. So, let us solve some questions related to CTFS. So, question 1 is like this for signal x t exponential Fourier series coefficient is given. In the first part, we have to check whether x t is real, imaginary or complex. In the second part, we have to check whether x t is even, odd, neither even nor odd. In the third part, we have to calculate value of x t at t equal to 0. So, first of all, what is exponential coefficient? Exponential coefficient is j into 1 by 4 ki power modulus of n. Now, if you will check, <coughs> if you will check, since j term is available here, there is no real part in C of n, only imaginary part is available. It means, C of n is an imaginary function. Now, it is even also because mod minus n will be equal to mod n. So, it is not only imaginary, but it is even also. So, nature of C n is imaginary even. And we have seen in the Fourier series chapter in the Medici classes, we have seen that there are several pairs in Fourier series and Fourier transform and uh, those pairs are very important like for real event signal coefficient will be real event, for imaginary event signal coefficient will be imaginary event, for real odd signal coefficient will be uh, imaginary odd. Similarly, so I am going to use one of, uh, one of the pairs. If coefficient is imaginary even, then x t will be also imaginary even. So, this is the uh, x t c n pair of uh, c t f s continuous time Fourier series. So, we have seen that since c n is imaginary even, then its uh, time domain signal x t will be also imaginary even and it is according to the Fourier series. So, for the first part, we have to check whether x t is real imaginary or complex, then what is the answer? Signal is imaginary. In the second part, we have to check whether x t is even, odd, neither even nor odd. So, what is the answer? Signal x t is an even signal. Now, in the third part, what we have to calculate? We have to calculate x t at t equal to 0. Now, if you want to calculate x t at t equal to 0, then you are going to use an important result and result is like this. x t at t equal to 0, we can calculate by using this result, summation of c n, range minus infinite to infinite. So, we will proceed in this way summation c n is j into 1 by 4 ki power modulus of n, range of n minus infinite to infinite. Now, as we know modulus of n is equal to minus n for n less than 0 and it is equal to n for n greater than equal to 0. Now, we can write down n less than 0, this condition in this way also, n less than equal to minus 1, because it is discrete and in the discrete, um, before n equal to 0, the next time instant was n equal to minus 1. So, meaning of this inequality is this one. Okay? <coughs> now, we are going to use this result. So, we will write down in this way summation minus infinite to minus 1 j into 1 by 4 ki power minus n because in this range mod n will be equal to minus n plus summation 0 to infinite j into 1 by 4 ki power n because in this range 
more than will be equal to n according to this result. Now, since j is a constant, so we can write down outside summation. So, j into summation minus infinite to minus 1. Okay. So, um, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 ki power minus n, 1 by 4 ki power minus n plus j into summation 0 to infinite 1 by 4 ki power n. <coughs> now, this term is, this term is left sided geometric progression and this term is right sided right sided geometric progression now <coughs> now since it is a left sided gp of infinite number of terms so, sum will be first term upon 1 minus ratio. So, when you will put n equal to minus 1, then, then that would be first term. So, for n equal to minus 1, term will be 1 by 4 ki power 1, because here already minus n is available. So, if you will put n equal to minus 1, then power will be 1 divided by 1 minus ratio. In case of left sided GP, minus n is power of uh, uh, what I should say <coughs> ratio in the case of left sided GP is that particular term of which power is minus n. So, here minus n is power of which term? Minus n is power of 1 by 4 since minus n is power of 1 by 4, so ratio will be 1 by 4, because it is a left sided GP. So, ratio is 1 by 4. Now, for this second part, j is a constant, so we will write it down. Now, it is a right sided GP of infinite number of term, terms. Now, sum will be again first term upon 1 minus ratio. So, put n equal to 0. So, first term is 1 by 4 ki power 0 divided by 1 minus ratio. In case of right sided GP, ratio is that particular term of which power is n. So, this, this, is, this is right sided GP and in case of right sided GP, ratio is that particular ter term of which power is n. So, check uh, n is power of which term? Here n is power of term 1 by 4. So, here ratio is 1 by 4. So, in case of right sided GP, uh, ratio is that particular term of which power is n. And in case of left sided GP, ratio is that particular term of which power is minus n. So, in this case, ratio is 1 by 4. In this case, again ratio is 1 by 4. So, in denominator, we have to write 1 minus ratio. So, ratio is 1 by 4. <coughs> so, j into 1 by 4 upon 3 by 4 plus j into 1 upon 3 by 4. So, it is equal to j by 3 plus 4 j by 3. So, answer is 5 j by 3. So, in this way we have calculated value of x t at t equal to 0. Answer is 5 j by 3. <coughs> <coughs> Let us proceed for next part. 
Hmm. <coughs> what is uh, exponential coefficient? Exponential coefficient of signal is j into 1 by 4 ki power n. Okay. J into 1 by 4 ki power modulus of n. Now, uh, let us proceed for next part of question. In the next part, we have to calculate average value of signal x t. As we know for x t exponential coefficient is given as C n and C n is j into 1 by 4 ki power modulus of n. Okay? Now, in Fourier series, we have studied that average of x t is nothing but value of C n at n equal to 0. So, whatever be the sample value of C n at n equal to 0, that would be the equal to uh, average value of x t. So, when you will put n equal to 0, then it will be like this j into 1 by 4 ki power 0. So, answer is j. So, average value of x t is j. <coughs> In the last part, we have to calculate power of signal x t. Then what we are going to do? Then we are going to use Parseval's power theorem. <coughs> Parseval's power theorem. What is Parseval's power theorem? We can calculate power of signal x t by using this formula summation mod c n square range minus infinite to infinite. C n is already given and you have to use this formula and you have to calculate power of signal x t. So, we will write down in this way summation j into 1 by 4 ki power modulus of n <coughs> square range minus infinite to infinite. Now, magnitude of j will be equal to 1. So, we can write down this expression in this way. Summation minus infinite to infinite 1 by 4 ki power 2 into modulus of n. Now, we can write down in this way summation minus infinite to infinite 1 by uh, 1 by 4 square ki power mod n. Now, 1 by 4 square will be equal to 1 by 16 and its power will be modulus of n. Now, we have to perform this summation in two parts. So, summation minus infinite to minus 1 plus summation 0 to infinite. Now, in this range term will be 1 by 16 ki power minus n. Why? Because mod n will be equal to minus n in this time range and uh, in the second part it will be like this. Why? Because mod n will be equal to n when n is positive. <coughs> So, here again this is left sided G p, this is left sided G p of infinite number of terms and this is right sided G p, right sided geometric progression of infinite number of terms. We have already seen in the third part of question how we are going to write down some of the G p in case of left sided and in case of right sided. So, put n equal to minus 1. So, first term will be 1 by 16 divided by 1 minus ratio. Check minus n is power of which term? Here minus n is power of 1 by 16. So, ratio is 1 by 16. Now, for the second part, for the right sided GP, put n equal to 0, then we will get the first term. So, 1 by 16 ki power 0. 
वन बाय सिक्सटीन की पावर जीरो विल बी इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस रेशियो चेक एन इज पावर ऑफ विच टर्म सो हियर एन इज पावर ऑफ वन बाय सिक्सटीन सो रेशियो इज वन बाय सिक्सटीन सो वन बाय सिक्सटीन अपॉन फिफ्टीन अपॉन सिक्सटीन प्लस वन अपॉन फिफ्टीन बाय सिक्सटीन सो फर्स्ट टर्म विल बी वन बाय फिफ्टीन एंड सेकेंड फर्स्ट टर्म विल बी वन बाय फिफ्टीन ओके एंड सेकेंड टर्म विल बी सिक्सटीन बाय फिफ्टीन सो आंसर इज सेवनटीन बाय फिफ्टीन so in this way we have calculated power of signal xt and what is the answer answer is 17 by 15